It is my honor and privilege to personally introduce you to the number one wolf at Plano West, our valedictorian, the leader of the pack, Richard Guo. Thank you, Mrs. King. Congratulations to the Plano West graduating class of 2018. It has honestly been a great year and a great high school experience. To my parents, teachers, and staff, thank you all for making this journey possible. You know, it's funny how our high school years have passed by so slowly, yet so quickly. You know that feel when we're stuck in the middle of third nine weeks without a single holiday in sight? And then summer arrives, and it feels like the year passed in the blink of an eye. If you recall, merely a year ago, college apps were the vein of our existence. Stressing about college essays, but refusing to actually start. It seems like a similar thing happened for my vow speech. Hmm. But no matter, there have been more than enough good memories from our time in high school. For me, it has been chatting late at night with Eric, getting roasted by Elizabeth, buying boba with Carissa, having deep discussions with Brian, gaining insight from Colin, learning math from Dachi, being entertained by Aditya, talking politics with Gunjin, doing group projects with Edward, learning CS from An, chilling with Amy, joking with Sanjay, receiving advice from Teddy, having fun talks with Brianna, taking snaps with Jacqueline, and many more. I know that all of you have had similar experiences. But in between all these memories, all of us have grown so much. From timid, innocent freshmen to seasoned veterans struck with senioritis. These four years have really molded us into who we are today, both academically and socially. For example, four years ago, I never imagined that I would ever be on this stage giving a valedictorian speech. In fact, four days ago, I never imagined that I would ever finish writing this speech. But as I was scrolling through the internet a few days back, one specific headline really struck me. The number one trait for success, according to the acclaimed Oprah Winfrey, is self-awareness. You know, I thought a lot about this. If I was fully aware of my strengths, I would know how best to apply them. And if I was fully aware of my weaknesses, I would know how best to work around them. In fact, this reminds me of a quote from the Chinese philosopher Sun Tzu. To translate, if you know both yourself and the enemy, you will win all your battles. If you know yourself 
but not the enemy, you will win half your battles. If you know neither yourself nor the enemy, you will lose every battle. As Sun Tzu recognized, understanding yourself is already half the battle. And although high school is over, this is something that can be applied to life in general. Understanding yourself can be one of the hardest yet most rewarding things that you can ever do in life. So heed the words of Sun Tzu, Oprah Winfrey, and me, and I wish the best luck to the best year in Plano West history.